Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about how to install Java and Eclipse to your computer and get started. Before that, let's talk about Eclipse. Now most of the people might not be aware of what Eclipse is and why do we use it. So let me tell you, Eclipse is an IDE, that is Integrated Development Environment, which contains a base workspace and an extensible plugin system for customizing the environment. In simple words, Eclipse provides you an environment to develop your applications and programs using various programming languages. Plus, it is free and open source. So you can download it for free. Now, the prerequisite of installing Eclipse is you should have Java installed in your system. To install Java, you will go to www.oracle.com. Don't worry about the link. I will copy the link in the description box below. Or what you can do is simply go to the Google and type Java JDK and click on the first link you see now uh, in the latest version we have Java platform 11 that is JDK 11 which is the latest version so I will download it click on this download button okay as you see these are the various JDK files uh, for the different platforms. Now, depending on the platform that you are using, download the file. Click on the accept license agreement and download JDK. Now, you can see that the JDK is in two um, file extensions. Uh, the one is executable and the zip file. So, you can download any one of them. I will go with the executable. So, I'll click on this and it will get downloaded. Uh, our JDK file got downloaded. Now I will click on this. It will ask for your permission. Click yes. Okay, again yes. And since it is already installed in my system, it uh, is asking for my permission to reinstall it. okay this is the setup click on next button leave um, as it is leave it as a default click on next and it is getting installed okay so now our jdk is successfully installed Next thing that you have to do is you have to set your environment variable. For that, go to control panel under system and security. Click on system, advanced system settings and environment variables. Now here you will see a variable named path. Click on this and click edit. Now you have to give path to your Java. So, go to the folder C, under the program files, there will be a folder called Java. Therein you can see a JDK 11. Okay, give a path to the bin folder. Copy it. And paste it here. Click OK and done. Now, if you want to check whether Java got successfully installed or not, what you can do is just go to command prompt, run as an administrator, and type Java C. If you get a stuff like this, this means that your Java got successfully installed. Now, since our Java is installed already, we will download Eclipse. To download Eclipse, you just navigate to www.eclipse.org or simply type in Eclipse Download. Click on this first link of Eclipse IDE for Java Enterprise Edition. 
okay here on the side panel you will see windows 32 bit 64 bit mac linux so depending on the version you can download or here on the more download section you will find the latest version for the eclipse ide now i am going to download the oxygen if you want to download some other version just click on them i will go to oxygen and since my system is 64 bit i will click on the 64 bit now click on the download or if you want to um, select some other source for downloading click on select another mirror and click any other link from the links mentioned below so i will simply go and click on this download now i already have the zip file with me so i will click on it since it's a zipped file you need to extract it so right click on it and extract all you can choose some other location to extract as as well i will prefer with the default one so i'll click on extract and complete now it is asking us to change the destination folders name so if you want to you can do it otherwise you simply click skip okay so our files got extracted here you will see in the downloads folder itself i have one more folder with the same name now double click on this you will find eclipse folder inside of which you will see this icon eclipse this is our actual application so double click on this I will minimize this window now this is the Eclipse launcher if you see this window that means your Eclipse is properly installed into your system now in the workspace it is asking you to create a work workspace for you now the default folder it is if you want you can leave it as it is or if you want to create another workspace you can browse in and select another holder from here but i prefer to leave it as it is now click on launch and it will launch the eclipse ide So that's it guys, this is the way how you have to install Java and Eclipse to your system. Now we are perfectly ready to write our first Java program. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.